Once we, we were approved to, to add on to our McIntyre building, what we did is we sat down with our faculty and our staff, and a big focus of that discussion was how do we bring uh, clean and, and green into our curriculum, into the building that we're working with the architects with. And the thought was, by a number of faculty, was let's build a, a green wall. Let's add on to our building so it's not just a square building, but a, a, an area where students can truly enjoy coming, enjoying the green, enjoying the sunlight. And here we have this building where students are looking outside, sun is just pouring in today, right into our green wall. It is a, an area of the McIntyre building that is very, very well used comments from students that have seen the transformation have been extremely positive, have been extremely excellent uh, to the point that they're just uh, well used. It's it just crowded all the time during the breaks. Our approach to uh, designing buildings like this in a community is to make sure that when we construct them that they feel like they fit where they are being built, that they belong in that neighborhood. So in terms of the Clean, Green and Beautiful Award, we look at an approach that's very compatible with all three elements of that. The project uh, is designed to uh, sustainable design principles, uh, including LEED principles green side of the equation. This building exists in a, an existing older residential neighborhood with mature street trees. Uh, we went to some great efforts in the design of the landscaping to preserve uh, what landscaping was here and to reinstate uh, street trees, for example, around the perimeter of the property where those had been lost over time. The building itself replaced a historically significant school that had to be torn down because it wasn't suitable for use anymore. We preserved the date stone and the name stone from the original facade of the building and incorporated that in the landscaping. All these things considered, um, we're very happy that the building is as successful as it is and we've had great response from the neighborhood. We give tours constantly and when we first opened we had many of the neighbors come to an open house and they all speak quite highly of how pleased they are with the end result in terms of how it feels in the neighborhood. So this is uh, a very, something we're very, very proud of. When the design team met in the initial planning stages for Mary Black, uh, form and function, the key elements of clean, green and beautiful certainly did um, prompt the whole form and function of the building. When you arrive, you see the beautifully restored mosaic and it refers back to the old building. We like that tie-in. The build process, the resource management, the way in which they utilized all the materials in the building of, of this beautiful building, followed codes and clean practices, green practices, trying to minimize the carbon footprint. Now that the building's complete, the functioning of the building utilizes resources and has efficiencies both in water and heating, lighting, uh, so we do know that we are minimizing the impact that we have environmentally. The piece of public art, Cascade, which adorns the fireplace area, I think it really does speak to ideas. The ellipses that come out of the piece of public art talk to uh, what can happen with the imagination. I can proudly stand here today, two years after the fact, and say that we did achieve a clean, a green, and a beautiful building.